Ever dreamed of a retirement lifestyle changing windfall? An income boost that may help you take that long awaited trip, fix up your property, or rest knowing you have a greater safety net? If so, millions of Canadian seniors may achieve their objective today, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, the Kari Updates channel welcomes your return for another video. New to this channel, hello, I'm Smith, and I'll give you the latest advice on maximizing your Canadian retirement funds. We give personalized information and services to help you enjoy your retirement without worrying about money. We're about to discuss today's news, which will satisfy many CPP recipients nationwide. According to fresh confirmation from the Canada Revenue Agency, seniors may get $850 extra each year in CPP benefits. That's $70 or more in your pocket monthly. I now understand your perspective. Is this factual or just an urban legend? This information will be provided so you can understand how this increase will influence your money and retirement planning. Guaranteed cry direct. First, let's acknowledge the significance of this transformation before we go into the details. Many low-income seniors might need $850 more per year to enjoy retirement. It will transform the game. Imagine what you could do with $1,000 more every month ability to pay for long overdue home modifications may make your living space more convenient and comfortable. It may be finally doing that thing you've been putting off trying that new hobby. Who knows, you may even have more money for your dream vacation. The CPP increase may transform retirement for many Canadians, easing financial anxieties and giving them new possibilities to enjoy life. Thus, whether you are retired and receiving CPP benefits or working, Keep an eye out for this. You can learn who qualifies when the additional cash will be available and how to verify your entire CPP increase here. Get comfy, get a pen and paper you'll need to take notes. Can you explain the CPP and its importance to Canadian seniors? Overall, the CPPP is crucial to most Canadians' retirement finances. Because it's a contributing plan employers and employees contribute throughout a person's career, these contributions are invested and delivered as a monthly pension in retirement. The CPP makes up a major part of many seniors' retirement income and provides stability. It replaces some pre-retirement income. Providing steady revenue year-round, the $850 annual increase was confirmed by breaking down the numbers. Stop wasting time, the recently announced CPPP hike is the issue. The Canada Revenue Agency estimates $850 annual payment increase for CPP members. That may not seem like much, but when added up, great improvement, a monthly windfall of $70 or more. You may trust your other income to cover that $70. That $70 may go toward food, electricity, and health care, which are piling up fast. For a low-income person, that extra room may change everything. The CPP should be revised regularly to reflect changes in the cost of living and other economic variables. However, a few factors distinguish this latest surge. First off, it's one of the greatest single rises in recent years. An $850 annual rise is far more than the usual CPP adjustment, giving claimants a bigger income gain. Second, rising inflation and economic volatility already burden seniors, and this raise adds to that. Your extra CPP contribution may help pay for increased living costs like food and gas. Certain income levels and retirement scenarios are affected. Retirees' views on the CPP increase depend on their income. People who depend on CPP and other government benefits like Full Age Security OS. This $850 per year increase might greatly increase their income and level of living. For people with workplace pensions or big savings and investments, the CPP boost may be more of a supplement than a game changer. An extra $850 a year is a lot, regardless of your finances. It may be used to improve your life, pursue new interests, or secure your retirement. Which group does the CPPP rise serve? Contribution history and age limits. Who qualifies for the CPP increase? That's one of the most requested questions since the news broke. We'll deconstruct. You usually require 39 years of CPP contributions to receive the maximum retirement benefit. Starting at 18, you may receive a partial pension based on your contribution history, regardless of whether you contributed all 39 years. You can start collecting your CPP retirement income at 60, but your payments will be reduced. Delaying your CPP till after 65, up to 70, might improve your benefits. If you are receiving the CPP retirement pension or will start receiving it within a year or two, you may be eligible for this greater payout. Dispelling the idea that CPP beneficiaries must be new importantly, you don't need to be a new CPP beneficiary to benefit from this raise. The popular belief that only new CPP recipients would see the larger amount is false. 
Your monthly payments, after the increase, many of you will get increased CPPP benefits in July or shortly after. You may be wondering how the additional cash will be represented in your regular deposit. We distributed $850 as a yearly increase throughout your 12 payments that year per CRA standards. Thus, instead of a larger payment, you may expect a monthly increase of $70, $70-$75. Monthly. This is merely a monthly increase. The actual amount depends on your CPP benefit and other factors. Typically, you should add $70 to your monthly payment. If you get CPP payments by direct deposit, as most receivers do, this increase should be reflected in your monthly payment. No CPP benefits ways to boost your payout. The confirmed $850 CPP payout increase is fantastic news for Canadian seniors, but it should encourage them to maximize their benefits. Contributions paid while employed determine your CPP retirement payout. Along with the age you start receiving, and there are several ways to boost your monthly payments. Consider delaying CPP benefits until after 65, your average retirement age. Every month you delay, your CPP will cost more. The final monthly payment will increase by a certain amount until you become 70. If you can defer benefits for a few years, your lifetime payout may be much higher. Another option is working and contributing to the CPP for a few years after the 39-year minimum. Contributions made later may boost your average, resulting in a larger CPP pension. If you have a gap in your CPP contribution history due to children, low income, or other reasons, there are procedures to remove those years from your benefit calculations. However, you should investigate and use those options. The importance of regular CPP statement reviews. Regularly reviewing your CPP statement is one of the best ways to maximize your benefits, regardless of your life stage. You receive an annual government statement with your CPP account information, including contribution history and retirement benefits. By thoroughly reviewing this statement annually, check that your wages and contributions are documented correctly and utilize your current circumstances to estimate your benefits. This is an opportunity to suggest solutions to issues or gaps that may influence your future payments. Before submitting, thoroughly examine the CPP statement. This paper might unlock a lifetime of passive income worth thousands of dollars more than you already have. Understanding CPP income testing rules and effects. Finally, to maximize your CPP benefits, you must understand income testing requirements and how they affect payouts. You must grasp these income testing rules and how they apply to your situation to prevent losing money or having your CPP benefit lowered unexpectedly. While hard, it's crucial to grasp while planning for retirement. After covering the principles of the CPP rise and how to optimize your benefits, let's talk about how to prepare for and spend that more money in retirement, focusing on living comfortably and staying to your budget. Many seniors may not think much of a $70 monthly windfall, but when you're on a budget, every cent helps. Maximizing additional cash requires careful planning and expense prioritization. Start by reviewing your monthly budget and spending patterns. Where have you had to be thrifty due to money? You may have put off much needed house repairs or cut back on eating out or going to the movies. These are some ways more CPP money might improve your quality of life. Consider paying off some expenses using the additional money. You can use the Corey Updates channel. If you like today's video, please subscribe and activate notifications so you don't miss anything as we help Canadian seniors navigate the complex world of retirement funds. Please ask any questions or share any concerns regarding the CPP P rise or retirement savings in the box below. I'll attempt to answer them in a future video or provide you personalized comments. I wish those who stayed a happy, healthy, and financially secure retirement as a bunch